Hello! Welcome to episode 3 of Cooking with Batman. If you don't know how to cook a $6 chicken and how to make an apple pear crisp, go back and watch those first because this one's a little advanced. Now, first things first, remove your crime fighting gloves because they're not for cooking. We've got to wash our hands. One hand washes the other. Remember to get in between those fingers. There we go. Get all the soap off. Now, the first hint that I'm going to give you when you're doing this is always cut your meat last. Otherwise, you're going to do something called cross-contamination or you're going to give yourself some extra cleanup. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to cut your lemon in half. Your lemon is going to be used in your frying pan. There we go. That's it. The rest of this lemon? Oh, it's not going to be wasted. We're making lemonade. So we're just going to grind it up a little in my Whisper Quiet Lemonade Juice. And a little more. Aha, there we go. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your lemon juice, you're going to pour it into your glass. There we go. That is your starting brine. Now remember, we've got to match all this bitter with some sweet. So we're going to bring on one, two, three, four heaping tablespoons of sugar. And then we're going to top it off with some water. Sorry I'm off scene, I'm right here though. Important note, lemons vary in size and therefore you don't want to fill it right up to the brim with water. Leaving a little bit of space means you can take out some of the pungency or you can even add some more sugar if you want to later. This is going to be served with your meal, so put it in the fridge. Don't bother stirring it, you can always do that later. Next step. The lettuce. Your big romaine lettuce. Try to get the biggest one you can. If romaine isn't on sale, let's get some romaine hearts. Those taste really good. Now you may have heard not to use a metal knife on lettuce because it causes it to brown. Don't worry about that. If it's causing your lettuce to brown, then you're not eating it fast enough. Cut a V shape out of the bottom. The V shape is going to get rid of all the grossest parts of the lettuce. And you should have something kind of shaped like this. See, we got all that? Right there with the rest of it. There we go. Now the rest of this is pure gold. This, batch number one of your lettuce. And you're gonna give it a quick rinse. This is to get all the insect parts out. Yes, you heard me right. There are insect parts in your lettuce. And no, I'm not getting them all out. We're just getting some of them out. It also gets rid of the sand. Nobody wants to bite into a crunchy and then we spin it. Come on, maybe yours isn't a piece of crap, but mine is. There. This takes a little pressure. Batch one. Into a salad bowl. Empty out your green water. Go like this. Step two. There we go. This is going to be really grainy with sand. So you want to really, really rinse this out. There we go. Goodbye sand and insect parts. There we go. Put it into your spinner. Push down super hard because it's a stupid piece of junk that doesn't really catch. Help get Enough, it'll dry. It is after all the first thing that we've done. Other salad bowl. This is going to be my meal. That's the guest meal. There we go. And batch number three. There we go. Get in there. Remember, when you're
when you're making Caesar salad, you want to use romaine lettuce. I know that's obvious to me, but it may not be obvious to you. twice as much anyways, so it's just not worth it. Okay, here's our pan. We're going to want to butter this up before we even start cutting the chicken. By the way, the secret to good chicken, lots, lots, okay? There you go, you put that right on top of your lemon. There you go. Now, we can spice it. This here is paprika. Lots of paprika. It's gonna make all the juices red. Red is good, red is delicious. Next, we have poultry seasoning. Mmm, lots of poultry seasoning, there it goes. Garlic powder, don't get carried away, but let's have some garlic powder, there we go. Mmm, mmm, good, huh? Okay, next up, this is boneless, skinless chicken thigh. Dark meat, yum! Better than those chicken breasts that they serve you at the restaurant. So, we're gonna open this up, stick it on the cutting board. Don't get frozen. You want it refrigerated. Refrigerated so that when I open it up, I'm feeling for cartilage. Okay? Now I'm gonna slice it into strips with my thumb always feeling the inside of the chicken. It's good, it's good, it's good. In the pan. Feeling? It's good, it's good. Good. See? If you get any cartilage in there, then you've ruined your meal. If your guest bites into it, they're going to lose all confidence in your cooking, and they're never going to eat it again. There we go. A couple more of these. Uh, you can do your own amount. You don't have to do a whole lot. I like to uh, include a lot of protein in my scissor salad. Pretty good uh, batch here. No cartilage at all so far. Very good. Next one. Good. No lumpies in there. It's excellent. Another one. Oh! There we go. So we got rid of a little tiny piece of cartilage that was in the middle of that one, and I wouldn't have caught that if the meat was frozen. There we go. So, we've just handled raw meat. What's the next step? Wash our hands. Use the back of your wrist to turn on the faucet. There we go. The rinse is going on. A little bit of soap. There we go. Next, we have a frying pan full of butter, chicken, and spices. This is gonna go straight onto the stove, and we're gonna put it on to about medium heat. Okay, we don't do medium very often. This time, we're gonna do medium. We're gonna do take this opportunity now to go through our salad bowls. And we're looking for anything that we may not want to serve to a guest. Uh, this piece particularly has a little bit of not so prettiness to it. We don't care about ours, but we care about the guests. What do we do? Rip off the good stuff? That's garbage. Let's see. There we go. There we go. This is going nicely, isn't it? This is the guest salad, and uh, this is Batman salad. Now, whenever you're preparing any sort of meal like this, one of the things you have to remember is that you don't want things to get mushy. In order to keep things from going mushy, we will not be adding the chicken yet. 
obviously. We won't be adding the dressing. We won't add anything. In fact, we want the salad to dry out a little bit before we add any ingredients. So, I'll see you guys when the chicken is cooked. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a lid on it and uh, we're gonna stir it frequently. As soon as the butter is done melting, we're gonna stir it around and what that's gonna do is it's gonna get the butter and the spices all mixed in there and then we'll be good to go. Greetings friends, welcome back. It's been about 20 to 25 minutes and I've been stirring the chicken regularly. I'm just gonna remove the heat now. Open the lid, ah, that's a good, that's a good sizzle. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is add your sauce. So, um, this is nice and thick stuff. A forkful of sauce like this into this small bowl, mixed well, is going to be about good. There we go, that's one. Now from my bowl, we're gonna go with one, two, three, and a little bit for extra. I'm just gonna mix that around. In fact, let's just uh, roll up our sleeves a little bit here. And just really get in there, get nice and messy. Gotta mix that in. Mm, that's gonna be delicious. There we go. There. That is good stuff. We'll wash our hands. In our clean workspace. Hmm? Did you clean up during the break? Alfred did for me. Ah. Next up, we're going to add some additional ingredients to our bowls of salad. So, we're going to open up a uh, Cheese and garlic crouton. Ooh, premium crouton. All right, that works for me. Uh, got a few of those in there. There we go. Yeah, and a few over here too. Yeah. Yes. You add them to your own taste, your own liking. It doesn't matter. Want to go through the whole bag? Go for it. Doesn't matter to me. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. The chicken. When you're adding your chicken to this, be sure that you don't pour the grease directly onto the lettuce. As soon as hot grease touches your lettuce, bam, instantly soggy. So, we want to scoop the chicken onto the spoon and uh, just pop it in there like that. Oh, It's all about that chicken. That chicken with the flavor grip. Now, this is mine. I don't care. So, we just go. I don't care, gristle, grease, whatever. I'm not the guest, I'm not too picky. Put that there. Stir that around. Voila, this is your finished result. See how I put a flavor crisp on there? The flavor crisp is one of the finer points. Mm -hmm. What's that? You want some Parmesan cheese? We can add that as well. Aha! Aha! You're gonna make anything taste good with Parmesan cheese. Now, lemonade. This is the beverage of choice. You're gonna to wanna to stir it. The sugar on the bottom is gonna be quite thick, but a good stirring will get that all fixed up for you. There you go. Mmm. Just right. Caesar salad, everyone. Chicken Caesar salad. Bon appetit. Mwah.